Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. This will be part 24 of our Let's Play. In the last episode we were getting into some more veteran missions, because that's kind of the level that we're up to, which I'm pretty happy with. And now we were tossing up whether to fight the hag or not, and I think we're probably okay. Like, I think we're about as geared up as we can get, right? We definitely have the skills. Yeah, like, we upgraded sort of the main ones. Wicked Hack would be good to upgrade. In fact, we might do that. I think I upgraded all the stuff for specifically the Hag Battle. Not necessarily... Not necessarily just skills that we would use to get there. Yeah, so we're still missing a lot of, like, Wicked Hack and Punish. You know, those, those useful abilities. But... We do have some at level 3. We're all geared up. Uh, do you have any trinkets? No. You know what? Uh, actually, no. I was going to say we will upgrade, but no, I don't think we will. I think we're, we're happy with this. So we're going to have a run at the hag. So, first we get the essentials. Uh, in addition, we need these. Oops, too many. Uh, it is a medium mission, so we'll grab like 3 of these. Uh, it's always good to have a bunch of holy water for, uh, boss battles. We might take the Age of Scales as well. Now, we are in the Wield, so... What's that mean? Anti-Venom? Maybe we should just stack up, really. Well, sorry, stack up. Stock up. Wow. Zero dollars. Boom. Sounds perfect. The knowledge of horticulturalism and its role in various arcane practices impressed me greatly. My licentious impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect, and together, we began to plant, harvest, and brew. And now she's a horrible witch, and you fucked everything up. So, that went about right. In the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. Sorry, I'm just having a little bit of a, a little bit of a drink. I have weird Japanese Fanta that I'm smashing down at the moment. That is like blueberry, raspberry, and blackberry and strawberry. It's just like a very berry Fanta. It's kind of fun. Okay, so we're pretty sure the witch is going to be this way somewhere, aren't we? I'm pretty sure. Like, I, I'm pretty sure they're going to be that way. Ooh, hello. Oh, don't. No. Okay. Don't just grub... Really? Really? Two in a row. What is your problem? Necromania. You know what? That tracks. I, I wish you didn't do that. Because how badly does tetanus fuck you up? Less accuracy. Oh, dude. Accuracy is one of the things that we probably always want. God damn it. Uh, you know what? Why don't we just blast him? I think the cultist enchantress, she's just gonna have to kind of be there. I'm a little worried about the ghoul. It's going to take 11 damage off the status effects, though. And that feels like a good hit. Nice. I get the feeling it's going to go first, though. Oh, wait, no. Never mind, she'll go first, because she always goes first. He'll probably go second. Ooh, no. Ah, uh, he's dead, though, so we just target her. Like, he's, he's super dead. Ah, shit. 
It is the one weakness of the Hellion that they can't really attack the third spot. Not very well, anyway. You know what? I'm gonna go for a stun. Just to stall it out. Bummer. The bigger the beast. Because you're probably just gonna target him again, aren't you? Yep. Wonder why? Why are you targeting my arbalist so hard? Like what? Confidence What's the behavior the there? God, you just got wrecked so hard. <sighs> okay, well, hopefully we'll have something to restore, restore sanity or stress. Sorry, that was that was very cool of Cthulhu of me. Um, but he's sanity. God, I've been playing so much, like, Call of Cthulhu RPG. So much fun. You're gonna touch this up again, aren't you? Oh, wow, you didn't. Okay, well, today we use a shovel today. And would you look at that? If you use a shovel, you don't get the AIDS. Always good. Ah, uh, we're gonna need a torch. The match is struck. A blazing star Ooh, hello. Uh, you don't have a ton of stun resistance, but we probably just want to beat you up. Damn. Yeah, okay. Bleeding's probably going to be what we have to do here. And just super target him, because I'll bet you he hits real hard. I think we fought him before, and it was pretty bad. Boom. Okay, so that should mark us, yeah. God, look at that big stack of DPS, though. Well, no, what is it? D-O-T, dot. Uh, we're gonna go for the stun again. Okay, this time we got it. So that's pretty good. Because he's going to take another 10 damage, means we only have to hit 12. Son of a bitch. Wow, that's a lot of damage, too. Oh, wait, hang on. You can stop that, though. There we go. And then we just have to do 12 damage. So there's 6. And, I mean, there's 12, but he's, he's done. Nice. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. My god, that was loud. Okay. I've turned that right down. Oh my god, did you just get... Did you just get... Uh... Uh, okay, that's not too bad. Less crit kind of sucks. But I think the Plague Doctor can heal diseases, right? I'm pretty sure he can. Yeah, it's just like heal someone, God. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Like I'm pretty sure he can. But Okay, we might. Just give a little, little touch up here before we go into the treasure room. Oh, this is not a new battle. Uh, we know how this works. You have to try and kill the fungal batteries before the big guys get involved. It's hard work, but I think we can do it. Hmm, except I can't hit either of those. Okay, if I stun this guy, the other guy's nearly dead. Okay, I didn't stun him. Fortunately, it seems like they're going first this time. Okay, I reckon veteran missions, they just, um... make them have a better chance to hit. 
Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. We are getting a bit mangled here. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay, he's dead. Uh, you should probably Adrenaline Rush. Give you a little bit of health back. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, you definitely need heals. Yes! Oh, crit 12 is what I needed. Ow. Because Ren the Marked has like a way better chance to hit or something, doesn't it? Oh, dude, you actually did bleed yourself. That's not great. Although I can fix that before your turn comes around, so that kind of works out. Okay, just give someone the smack. We need to get some damage down range. At the moment, we're just in a holding pattern. Ugh. 17 damage in a turn is not amazing. Go again. Can we get six health per round? I can. Ow. That'll make up for what she just took. Ah, uh, we got too many diseases running around. Alright, but nobody's marked anymore, and they can't be marked anymore, so at least we've reduced their damage by quite a bit. Okay, so this should kill you, right? Yeah, okay, he's dead. We'll unblight you. We'll... Okay, you're actually going to get a really good heal off that, so I think I'm going to heal you instead. Because on your turn you're going to heal like 10 or 12, so... You've got enough. Uh, we might yawp this. To get like one turn where we don't get beaten up. Oh yeah, that's a thing that happens. Well, shit. Uh... Okay, and then I think we get another, what, like, two turns? Oh my god. Stop! Why are you targeting him so badly? I don't get it. Do they just target from the back row? Like, stop it, you arsehole. Yeah, I didn't get stunned though. Well, I brought you a range of that. Okay, well. Oh. Okay, I thought my Arbalest was gonna go insane there. Um. I mean, kinda still is, but. We can definitely do something here. Press the there. Advantage. We're going to be back to the stupid fungal grabber after all that. Okay, let's kill this guy. He needs to go. We've, we've stalled out on this battle far too long. Get out of here. Just die, you asshole. No more reinforcements. Just, just death. Only death. Right, you heal him. It's because I'm trying too hard to get back to full health. Which isn't really a thing. Okay, I can't take the crests, but I could just... What? I could throw the jade, but that's like a thousand bucks there. But again, I guess the investment of like crests and shit is generally worth more. At least in my mind. 
how is this one? Black's Deface. The assault was overwhelming. With Cuthbert slain, and as Bolin fell, I was driven by rage. I leapt and drove my axe into the creature's many eyes. Purple Ichor splashed my face, or Ichor, splashed my face, and my very soul shook as it bellowed. The only thing I can recall after that was falling swiftly into darkness. Uh, yeah. I guess we have to just leave it. Okay, we know there's a trap coming up, but what we really need right now... Oh, do I risk it? Oh, that'll stave him off for a little bit. Yeah, what we really need right now is another scout at this, this next junction. Gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for okay, sure. Blood. Uh, mostly stuff we can't take. Likes to fake too. In that same instant, we found ourselves in a place of suffocating dark, facing a creature that defies description, and whose recollection causes my quill to jump and shudder. It is merciful only fragments of our battle remain in my psyche. I see Cuthbert hacking at the quivering appendages of the monster. I recall how a piece of its flesh sloughed off, and of its own twisted accord sprang onto Bolin, piercing her stout plate. The occultist, as if to offer himself as tribute, was torn apart by its writhing limbs. Okay. Can we get a scout? No. Okay, so we might have to rest here, I think. A moment of respite. I don't think we really have a choice. Steal oneself against the coming horrors. We'll drop our stress a bit, so that's fine. Yeah, remove disease, there we go. Okay, so who do we need to remove? So we have Tetanus, which reduces accuracy, which is bad. Or we have the Red Plague, which has less bleed resistance. Less max HP, less crit. Max HP would be pretty good against the Hag. Because we know she likes to throw you in the pot, and then it just does like an amount of damage every turn. I think we just have to get rid of the accuracy debuff. I think that's all we got. Um, right. Four battles. It's probably... Oh, fuck. Oh, I beansed it. No, wait. Wait. No, it was that one. Oh, whew. okay. No, this actually kind of works, because you can use Lash's QR. You cure the tetanus. That only works on yourself. Well, shit. Okay, I still beansed it, but the net result was more or less the same, so I guess kind of worked out. Maybe I do this, and then what? Show no point healing. Someone gets less stress. Or like a heal. So let's just heal, heal. Yeah, we really didn't bring any de-stressing people. All right, we'll just pep up him. And then we will fight the inevitable battle in the dark. Darkness closes in yeah, saw that one coming. Oh, okay, it's just some maggots. Ah, that's kind of fine. They're not too bad. I don't want to run back, so... Let's do this. Oh, that's not an everyone spell. Holy shit, guys, Mortality I am just beansing this out today. Strike. Okay, my bad. We're gonna sort this now. Okay, we're gonna move you back. Oh wow, you can move a hell a long way. Um Yeah, we'll put you in front. And then we need to kill something, so. Oh, I also just targeted the one... I also just targeted the one that had already moved. Fuck my life. What am I doing? Oh, fuck me. Okay. Alright, you need to go. One way or another, you're dead. Um... Same thing? Okay, they're both dead. Sure. I think we ended up worse off than after, uh, like, when we slept. 
Jesus. Oh, that was the biggest beansing I think I've ever had. Okay, I'm going to assume it's this way because it's further away. Oh my god. Okay, we surprised them, so that's good. Because we can basically get rid of these guys straight away. So he's gone. Uh, can I stun you? Eh, that's a decent chance. Excellent, and it pulled it to the front. That's kind of what I wanted, so we can kill you. You're stunned. He's dead. Then we just... Ah, damn. I was really hoping for that blind fire to be successful. Okay, and then we just smack you around, and he's dead. Excellent. As victories mount, that worked out so too will somehow. Resistance. Thank you. More torches, always appreciated. The way is lit. The path is clear. All right. So this is either the witch or it's the next one. Sorry, the hag. Oh, or it's another battle like this. Oh, this is one we really struggled with last time too. Devastating blow. Nice, it's a good hit though. Wow, critical one! Shit, that must have a high hit chance. God, I'm just gonna be on body health duty after this, I can already see it. Yeah. Yep. Definitely going to be on health duty. Okay, well, um... You need to die. He's dead. You need to just, like... Knock out one of these guys. Because now we know we can't dawdle on this, because it's pretty bad. A singular strike. It's pretty bad if we keep stalling. You definitely need to heal. It's not going to be enough, though. Fuck, I should have healed with both. Maybe they'll just attack Mon Okay, they did. That's not too bad. Like, we can manage that. Um, Maybe we actually just poison? What does it do? Six? Yeah, six points for three rounds. Because the heal on the Plague Doctor is not great. It's good for curing status effects, not for curing, you know, actual, like, health loss. And then if we do this on you, you get extra healing from that. Ooh, that stuns, doesn't it? Oh, no, it's a Blight. Okay, Blight's not bad. Again, Blight we can fix. Just getting super mangled, that one we can't fix. Uh, are you gonna blight him again? You asshole, I just fixed that. God, again, maybe we shouldn't have rested here. Cause like, we're not in a better position. We're really not. Okay, he's dead, so that's good. Good, that's actually what I wanted. I wanted him to go next so he could get the heal off and cure him. Right. These nightmarish creatures can be found. Ah, get rid of those, give me the deeds. Oh shit. Oh my god, right, just anti-venom. I'm I'm done with this. Okay, so there's the boss. We also know there's nothing in between, so... Right. Uh, who needs heals? You sort of really need it pretty bad. And then we're just gonna go one, two, three, four... Is there anything else we need to do to prepare? I don't think so. 
Maybe we just... Okay, I'm going to age of scale her. Just in case. I don't think it will block her being grabbed and put in the pot. But maybe it will. You know, possibly it will. I doubt it, but you never know. Um... Okay, well, we're obviously just going to target her. If we can just stack bleeding and everything on her, I think that'll work out fine. Ah, uh, look, at least you targeted the one that just attacked you. We really need hits pretty much every time. She can't be stunned, can she? Not really. So I think we just super buff her. Alright, so that's one block. That's one guaranteed block right there. Ooh. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Okay, I think we're gonna just breeze through this. I this is definitely the strategy. It would have been... Uh, I was going to say it would have been nice to get her in there first, but I kind of guess it wouldn't have. Because she's got more health, but she's also sort of our primary damage dealer, so... Okay. Alright, so she can heal a little bit. Oh, it puts him in the front row, too. Oh, no, that's worse than anything else. Shit. Okay, just Adrenaline Rush and hope she doesn't put you in. And he's at death's door, but I have to just keep throwing people at it. Okay, there we go. Now we can give him a quick heal. Takes him off death's door. Okay, you know what? That's fine. If, if that's who you want to put in. So that's Blight, right? No, it wasn't. Shit, I really needed her to go second. I needed him to go first. Okay, still got 8 damage a tick though, which is pretty damn high. Actually, she goes twice, so she's pretty fucked here, right? Like, she's definitely fucked, yeah? Because next turn, she's just going to go. Oh, no, it's four now. Right, because it was six, it's two every time. Yeah, 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 no, that's fine. Um, but we are pretty much going to sort it, I think. Super kill. Boom! Leave her corpse to rot. Consumed by the spores she spawned. And we should be done. It's just that easy, guys. Uh, we'll definitely take that. And... No, we don't want to give you the Martyr's Seal. I, I just want to... I just want... Uh, actually... Uh, no, you don't bleed that much. Who bleeds? He bleeds. He's also got a bunch of bleed resist. He should have never been hit by his own bleed just there. <laughs> like, just quietly. Um, toss this, grab that, it's worth more money. We are gonna want that blueprint, so let's just toss some junk. So, like, a couple of shovels. Boom! First veteran boss, da 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 dunzo I think that's definitely the way to do it, though. Like, we... we crushed that. Okay, we got some people level 4, which is still okay. You can still use them. Okay, you have another disease, so... That's fun. You're, you're having a great time. Their customs are curious. Ooh. Oh, normal trinkets. No Ugh. Ugh. Who gives a shit about that? Unfortunately, the sanitarium's not free anymore. Uh, you just want to treat, like... Wow, you have, like, no bleed resistance. 
<laughs> negative, negative, what is that, 125%? Oh, holy shit. It's, it's just zero. <laughs> Brutal. Um, okay. Right, well, you need to go and get one of these treated. We'll treat the one that's worse. <laughs> that's pretty funny, though. Uh, it's kind of shit. Oh, wait, that's Hellion only. I know they can use bleed. They, they can use if it bleeds and bleed out, but... I mean, they're just not... Actually, bleed out's pretty good, now that I look at it. And it just reduces their damage afterwards. Yeah, okay. Because that's three points for three rounds at level one with a 20% damage mod. Like, that's a pretty big, meaty hit. 85% accuracy, but you upgrade that a couple of times, it'd be 95%. That is actually a big, meaty hit. We could probably almost take that instead of Yorp, but Yorp is pretty handy. Uh, I don't know. We have a pretty good thing going on here. Like, this works. I'm sort of loath to change it too much. Uh, Bounty Hunter, Hugo on end, do you need that? No, you've already got one. And then the Martyr Seal. So, plus 60% damage at Death's Door, plus 40% crit at Death's Door, plus 12% Death Blow Resist, and 15% max HP. So... That's very strong, but really only if they're literally a hit from death. I don't know if I want that. I might hang on to it just to see, but yeah, I, I don't think we're going to keep it. Now, we've already got one of these for the Antiquarian, right? We do. I don't think we can slap two on. No, you can only have one of the same trinket. You know what? Yeah. We're probably not going to get another Antiquarian, at least not for now. So we'll hang on to the Martyr's Seal. Maybe it'll be more useful in, like, the darkest dungeon, where I assume it's going to be really fucking hard, and the odds of you having people that are just at death's door is probably going to be very high. Uh, so now we have two blueprints. We have two blueprints, and we still can't get anything. We still can't get that bank that we desperately want. Which kinda sucks. Uh, okay, never mind. So, you definitely need... You definitely need some sort of thing. Wait, what is your problem? Can't use a brothel. Ah, oh, we'll only meditate. Okay. Uh, good thing we have two slots, because the fucking caretaker's in there. Um... What else we got here? I probably should put all of you in, in for a rest. Although you guys can maybe... Do, uh, but I don't want you to do another one, because I don't want you to level up. What's your problem? Oh, no, wait, you have to uh, flagellate, right? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. And Chiron, you can do pretty much anything. We'll send you to gambling. That will be... Probably okay. So we've done the wheels next boss. Um, now we probably look at someone else. Ooh. Oh, torch below 26. Eh. There must be an actual strategy for having the torch that low. There, ha there has to be. We could do an easy mission because we do have a bunch of scrubs. That only gives crests though. But then it is also progress towards the next thing. So you might do that. So let's make a scrub team. So it's going to be you, you, you. I guess you. Could bring the grave robber, actually. What if we do this instead? Vengeance Dire. Oh, we made, we made a team again. Interesting. Uh, anyway, guys, we are going to leave this episode here, I think. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. 
goodbye.